Hi, welcome back to the series on Centrify Privilege Service. Now we're going to talk about the shared account password management capabilities. And this scenario is very simple. You have accounts that are privileged, they need to be managed, the request has to be brokered, um, they can be checked out, they have to be checked in after use or by policy. Uh, once checked in, if needed, the password has to be rotated. And finally, um, you may need to do this across multiple data centers, including data centers in the cloud, and you want to be able to help end users in the case of having um, a resource that is down uh, and they need access to the password, even with their mobile devices. Centrify, you know, shared account password management, like I said before, uh, we'll go to the privilege manager and we have accounts that are managed within the systems that can be managed. So notice that uh, the resources that can be managed are network devices, Unix, Linux, and Windows servers, with more being added every month. So, you know, the typical password checkout with a traditional Tapum solution will probably involve, um, you know, it could be, like I said before, an assisted login session, right? You don't even need to know the password, but you need to, to, to go and log in and notice in here that the user has the ability to do so, right? The other scenario would be, you know, perhaps uh, the user needs the account in a change control scenario or there's a break glass maybe shared you know single user mode or save mode then the user at that point probably just needs to get the password uh, in some instances you know if if it's a, a break glass scenario most likely a um, uh, you know a, a simple display uh, will we'll do so I'm gonna do a checkout here and notice that a display it's going to show me the password. If I go back to uh, the workspace here, notice that I have the password already checked out. I can actually go ahead and check it in. And if the policy is defined to do so, this password is going to be rotated automatically. Other scenarios may be perhaps you're in a distant data center and you need uh, the ability to check out the, uh, uh, a password. I'm going to go to a different uh, use case in here. So. Um, this is my privileged service in a different location. Um, I could actually use my mobile device in, in, in that particular context. And it's very simple. Same mobile mobile application that I can use for my app my apps. I if if the administrator enabled me to, I can see my resources. And in here, I can see, for example, I already have a password checked out here. 30 minutes. I could actually um, extend the time. But if I wanted to check out another password, notice what's gonna happen. The mobile device is going to require me to provide Touch ID. This is additional, an additional authentication um, factor that is being requested. This is available today for um, iOS and Android devices. I can check it in. If I if I go back to the to the workspace here, uh, you'll see that I have two checkouts. I can actually check in this particular one, and when I check it in, this is one is going to be gone. But I have one that has been going on for a little while. Uh, I could actually extend the time if needed. So um, now, now it went back to from 37 minutes, it should go back to 59 minutes. Very, very flexible, right? So, and it's uh, aligned with modern use cases. This whole thing, remember, because of the identity platform, users have the ability to uh, do their own self service if, if, if uh, set up by the administrator for their mobile devices. So I'm not afraid of being able to do this because I know where this device is located and if I even need to remote wipe it or locate it or you know, send it even a lock screen command, I can actually go ahead and do that. And that's gonna lock my screen right there. So again, this can be tied to geofencing as well and some of the things that we're doing with workflow. Um, so um, the other additional way would be probably to do a, a clipboard uh, checkout. For example, if I do an account actions here and uh, you know I want to do a checkout, I could do a clipboard and, and now like the password is going to be my clipboard um, and I can, I can expose it if needed. So let me go ahead and check in my passwords. And we should be good. And this was the demo of CPS using shared account password management. And it's actually really modern because you could also do it from a mobile device as well.